Well, the Beijing Games will be the most scrutinised in history for many reasons, including drugs. Four and a half thousand tests will be carried out on athletes, up from 900 on 900 from Athens, and 90% more than Sydney. I caught up with a man who's had his fair share of accusations thrown at him, one of the greatest Olympians we've ever had in Ian Thorpe, and started by asking if we'd be naive to think that swimming at this year's Beijing Games could be completely clean. It, it is a wonderful thought, um, you know, and, you know, I, I think we can get there. Um, and, you know, that's what we've got to strive towards. I mean, people should continue to discuss the issue of doping openly until we have sport where we can be 100% confident that it is 100% clean. And we're not there yet. Um, in the sport of swimming, I, I think that we're very close. I mean, I think we probably have one of the cleaner sports in, you know, around the world with all of the sports. But we have to continue putting pressure on to make sure that when a kid watches an athlete produce an incredible result at the Olympic Games, that they admire that performance and they don't second guess it was, was that because they were on something. And unfortunately, it's a question that pops up at the moment. And, you know, all people that are involved in sport need to eradicate that uh, through more stringent doping controls. Life as a professional swimmer, no doubt, very tough, and especially when you are successful. And people always casting shadows of doubt over your performances. You would have felt for someone like Eamon Sullivan after what you've been through earlier in the year when a guy like Gary Hall Jr., the outspoken American swimmer, comes out and casts some shadow of doubt over his 50-metre world record. Yeah, you know, I've, I've experienced this firsthand for a long time in my career. And, you know, this is what I'm saying. I think it's unfortunate that that's what people go to. They don't admire the performance, they question it. And that's why athletes need to actively get involved with making sure that sport is as clean as it possibly can be so that there's no um, shadow of a doubt that that performance is because of the hard work that that athlete's done. So you think one day we can get to that point where we could think with 100% certainty that each swimming race and Olympic Games will be clean of drugs? Well, if we commit to it, yes, we can. Um, but we have to have the desire to go there and we have to make sure that, you know, we're continuing to strive to make sure it is as best as it possibly can be. And, you know, not to fear the, um, you know, what might happen if, you know, at one particular event it may cast a shadow over that event if we've got the technology to test athletes for something that we've never tested before. Put it in there and do it um, and look at the long term rather than the short term impact. The history of Australian sport swimming. The two hour special, 30th of July at 8.30 on the History Channel. For our viewers at home, in a nutshell, what is it all about? Um, you know, what we're talking about is the spirit of uh, Australian sport swimming. Um, and obviously in Australia, we're very aware that we've been incredibly successful at this sport for a very long time. And, you know, it really answers the question, well, why are we so good at this? Um, and, you know, it also reflects on why we have such a proud history in this sport and how it's actually helped to forge our identity in this country. Um, you know, swimming for most Australians is very relatable because the vast majority of us have actually learned how to swim. So when we see an incredible performance, we can actually relate to that and how it feels to be in the pool. And that's un unique to swimming, um, more so than any other sport in this country. And there is something too about that fixation that Australians do have with water. When we're kids, we're thrown in the pool, we're thrown in the surf, our country's surrounded by it. It's just something there between Aussies and water, isn't there? Well, that's the thing. I mean, swimming for the most part brings back very fond memories of us learning to do it, enjoying the beach, summer holidays, all of those things. So we love the water. We live by it. Uh, we live in it during summer. And, you know, that's why it's, you know, it's fundamentally part of being Australian. When we think of the iconic images of Australia, you know, we have the Drovers, we have the Outback, um, you know, we have iconic buildings and then there's iconic people, you know, our lifesavers and that, you know, image of bronzed Australia, it's, it's all there and it's been linked for such a long time.